This is Mike with the Strawberry Store. Today is December 19th and I'm going to show you a couple of things. Uh, the first thing is uh, I just uh, started a batch of uh, vermicompost tea and I wanted to kind of give you an idea of, uh, of how I brew it. I put in uh, uh, about uh, two ounces per gallon of water uh, so I have about three ounces of vermicompost in this uh, two gallon bucket. It's uh, about a gallon and a half of uh, water. And uh, I have uh, a double air pump here. It's a pretty high powered pump. And I wanted to show you the, the rig that I use to, uh, to get air into it, to uh, aerate the, uh, the uh, vermicompost tea. Uh, what it is is uh, two regular quarter inch hoses coming out of the pump into the bucket. And I have uh, I created a, a ring. I don't know if you can see the whole ring here using a quarter inch uh, soaker hose. I find that soaker hose works great for uh, for bubbling, uh, for getting nice airflow into the uh, vermicompost tea. The one uh, negative is that you really can't use it more than once or twice. Uh, you have to replace it because <clears throat> the meat, the uh, the particles within the vermicompost tea kind of clog it up and cut down on the uh, on the bubbling. So I'll let this bubble for a while, uh, probably uh, for around 24 hours. I'll put in about a teaspoon of molasses in here uh, to feed the the uh, good bacteria. And uh, once I'm finished uh, brewing, I'll. Uh, extract some of the material or some of the uh, tea out of here with uh, with this turkey baster it's one that we were going to throw away out of our kitchen and it works great for uh, watering the plants uh, right out of here uh, the other thing I wanted to show you was a little rig, uh, rig I have here to uh, germinate some seeds a couple of weeks ago I planted some really rare seeds, some varieties that I'm trying to uh, propagate early and uh, uh, eventually uh, propagate either by seed or by runners. Uh, these are some rare varieties that, uh, that I've obtained from a couple of different sources. And you can see uh, I really didn't get very good germination. Over in, the, in this one we have uh, 24 cells and I really only got three plants to germinate. The uh, one set of cells, these uh, 12 cells here at the beginning, uh, I didn't even have anything to seed in there, so those were never seeded. But the other six uh, cell packs here were seeded each with one seed. Uh, you can see there's one that where two came up, but each was uh, seeded with one seed because I uh, really don't have very many seeds uh, of these particular varieties. Uh, so just to give you an idea, what I'll do once I've uh, brewed my tea, I'll just give them each a little bit of water. This is a little bit early, but they're they're kind of drying out, so we'll give them a little bit of water. And uh, the vermicompost tea has really made a big difference with the way I um, the way I grow my plants these days. I've gotten uh, disease suppression, uh, both uh, uh, root rot and uh, damping off, and also suppression of uh, fungus gnats. Fungus gnats can be a real problem in, in this type of environment. So uh, that kind of gives you an idea of the use of the tea, how to make the tea, and uh, uh, I just wanted to cover a couple of those points. So this is Mike with the Strawberry Store, signing off.